Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So, it's been about a week. Yeah, about a week now since we posted a video. Sondra and I have, quite frankly, both been a little bit under the weather. Um, and so, whenever we've been out doing stuff, it's just been, let's get out, get it done, and be finished with it. So, we've not taken time to get the camera out. And for that, I apologize. So I appreciate all the texts and messages and all that kind of thing checking in on us. And uh, that means a lot. But today, we got stuff to do. And we're going to get the camera out today. We've got a group of piglets that were born uh, a couple of months ago. Y'all been sort of following their progression here. Um, we got some of those piglets today we're going to wean. Um, we've got a new procedure for how we do that um, that I think is going to be much simpler, less complicated, uh, and maybe a little quicker than what we've done in the past. So hang out with us for a little while, and uh, let's get some piglets weaned and get them in the uh, training pen, and uh, we may do a little castration along the way. So hang out with us for a little bit. All right, so what we're going to do, uh, and we've done this a couple times already, and it worked out pretty good. You know, in the past, we've had this very complicated system of catch pen and trap doors and piglet boxes and that kind of stuff. I think probably what's happened this time, because we've came up and taken a bucket, sit down, you know, just kind of interacted with them, they're a lot, these piglets are a lot more tame than uh, what we've had in the past. So over the, past, over the course of the past week, and again, we've not gotten any footage of this because Sonny and I have both been filming under the weather, we're just catching them up. We're just putting little feet out on the ground, catching them up, and just tossing them in the, uh, in the trailer. And that seems to have worked pretty good so far. I think we've caught about 32 um, without any you know, trouble from, from the mamas or anything like that. So that's what we're going to do. Um, Jamie from Seven Stands is over here today. He's going to help us out a little bit because catching and castrating a bunch of males, that's a little bit more work than just catching females and tossing them over. Um, so we're gonna catch these up. We'll do another little uh, demonstration on castration, show y'all exactly how we do that. So if you're wanting to do that on your farm, you can save yourself a ton of money in vet bills. It's really easy to do. It's pretty safe to do. Um, so let's, uh, let's see if we can bait some of these piglets, get them caught up. This is probably gonna be another comedic video. Who knows what's gonna happen here. Jamie may land on his face in some mud. I don't know, it's happened before. But, uh, Let's put a little feet out, see if we can catch these piglets and toss them in the trailer. Arr! on that last and Jamie used our newfangled pig catcher. 
carp net. Very scientific. Very scientific. <laughs> we learned this from the guy that we bought those blue butts off of. We were using the carp net over there to catch those pickets. And you know, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you're not, you know, if you've not got piglets that are fairly tame and you're not used to your mamas because those mamas can be very aggressive and they can't hurt you. And on that last one, I don't know if the camera caught or not, on that last one, the mama's got a little torqued up on, on getting, on us pulling that piglet out. But uh, we got them all. And as you could see, we were just feeding them, just walking right up to them, catching them up in hind leg, putting them in the trailer. And me and Jamie were talking about this a minute ago. If you'll pick them up with the hind legs and keep those front feet on the ground, they don't get quite as torqued up. So if you're catching piglets, um, just be careful. Be careful around those moms is the main thing. But uh, we got them all. Let's get them down to the training pen. We'll castrate them, get them over in with everybody else, and uh, that'll be it. Real quick review on what we do with weaning. Um, this is our weaning training pen. And what we've done is on the uh, front and the back, we have four 16 foot pig panels that you can get at Tractor Supply. And then on the sides over here, and then on the far end down there, we have two. So it's a four by two. So 64 by 32 foot training pen. We fasten it together with these, and I've showed these in the past, these red 3 8 inch rebar posts and zip ties. We're talking piglets here. This, this doesn't have to be adult pig proof, piglet proof, and that ends up working out just fine. We've got our energizer plugged in up here. And then on the inside, offset, I don't know, about 12, 10 inches or so, depending on kind of the wave and the fence, um, we've got a single strand of electric. Heard that, I don't know if y'all heard that or not. That single strand of electric, um, those piglets go up and learn when they touch that, they can't go forward. Their only move is to turn around and retreat. And that's how we train piglets onto single strand electric. Now, a couple of other things that we've added here. Um, we do have a water barrel. We'll talk a little bit about that here in just a second and how we're filling that. We've also got a bulk feeder back here in the back that's full of feed. These piglets are all gonna be feeder pigs. We're not keeping anybody out for breeding, so they're gonna get free choice as much as they want when they want it. We've also added a couple of old junk uh, hay bales, just uh, roll hay in here. This gives the piglets something to do. Uh, and also it will help us to um, roll around and in these, some, of, some of the areas where the piglets are causing um, a little more disturbance than others, like right here in the corner. We'll take the hay, we'll over roll on that and that will, that will take care of our erosion and our bare soil problem. So this, this serves a couple of different purposes. Um, we uh, have the piglets here, they're, they're weaned off their moms. This gives us an opportunity to um, uh, provide worming medicine when they get their worming medicine here. Also, we do the castration so we can watch and see if we've got any issues or problems with castration, infection, anything like that. <clears throat> then that's taken care of here as well. So this is a great setup, works out really good. If you're raising pigs on pasture, you want to teach them on, want to teach them single strain electric, this is the way to do it. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here and get a little bit of a shot of that. Um, single strand yeah you can see it right there that's the single strand of electric and that works out um, works out for those piglets to uh, learn that power learn that electric stay away from it all right so we got our piglets caught up let's uh, let's get them pulled out get them castrated and join in with their buddies and I'm gonna show you all this water thing um, Jamie's done a video on these drill pumps I'm gonna show you this drill pump and how this deal works but it is uh, it's pretty cool all right, we've had a lot of questions about castration. We'll lay the piglets down on the back. Sonder will spray them with a little bit of betadine, and then we're just going to make a nick in, the, in one side of the scrotum, reach in, open up the testicle. Uh, it's enclosed in a small sack. Pull the testicle out. Go to the other side. Do the same thing. Pull the testicle out. We're going to spray them with a little bit of blue coat, a little bit of antiseptic, and then we're going to give them a shot. Go ahead and give them a shot of ivermectin. That's their first worming shot. And then that's it, that piglet is done. 
So Jamie's gonna pick it up now. I'm gonna put it back over into the weaning pen. All done. That simple. That's pretty. And then, then there will be overweight middle-aged people running across your field trying to catch your pig, trying to catch your pigs. All right, so I wanted to show y'all real quick how we're watering pigs. And we've got just a, a liter hose down there dropped in a little pond uh, in the creek running alongside where they are. And it comes up to one of these. This is a drill pump and we bought this on, on Amazon. And I'll leave a link in the description down below and I'll show you how, how this thing works. But the leader hose comes up here on the right hand side and then we've got the outlet hose coming out here on the left. <clears throat> and then it runs over here to our water barrel. And we just fill the water barrel off of the, uh, coming up out of the creek. And we went to um, Harbor Freight of all places and bought one of their, you know, they got the good, better, best. This is their Hercules drill and a battery and a charger and when we're ready to fill we just uh got a got a uh, zip tie around the trigger on that thing we just hook it up to the pump <clears throat> Sonner's going to get her hooked up here tighten it down just tighten that thing down the trigger's already engaged we just pull the battery off put the battery on and boom it takes off running so we're drafting water out of the creek through the leader hose, through the pump, over here to the barrel. And this is the stream of water that we're getting coming out of that creek with that little drill pump. I mean, it works out great. You gotta be kind of close to a water source, but uh, just in terms of efficiency, we'll come out, we're gonna feed, do checks, all that kind of thing. We'll just hook the pump up, let the drill pump run, and uh, fill, the, uh, fill the water barrel up while we're doing chores. So, like I said, just a little drill pump. I think these things were, how much were they, Sandra? 10, 15, 10, 15 bucks. bucks. So I'll leave a link in the description down below on those. So, the castration crew and the escape artist, <laughs> we got done, we got done. I, I don't know how much of that we ended up catching on, on video, but, uh, and I should, I, I, I may have already plugged it in. If not, I'll, I'll kind of plug some of it in now. But we had, Jamie was, we were castrating and I was on the ground, Son was getting ready to do the procedure and Jamie went in the trailer 
I'm just gonna catch one up, have it ready. Have it ready, yeah, for the next time so we could kind of speed up the process. So while, while he was getting one ready, another one kind of snuck around behind him, figured out the door was open, and <laughs> we chased that piglet all over this field. Three overweight middle-aged adults chasing a pig across. We've not done that since our first one. Yeah. The very, very first, first, very first one. group of pigs we got. <laughs> very first group of pigs we got. We let one escape and we chased it across the field. But anyway, I am too old <laughs> and too out of shape for that. We we are all too old and out of shape for that. But anyway, I think that's going to do it. Please continue to keep us in your prayers. Son and I've been feeling under the weather for the past couple of days, past week or so. You feeling okay? He's probably going to be sick after being over here today now. <laughs> I'll be sore for sure. Yeah, he'll be sore for sure. But please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.